welcome back everybody. It's Easy, Easy Street Gaming. Today we're bringing you an air supremacy video. We're going to start off with a, a Go Wee Wee because we're doing some kind of event, Go Wee Wee event. So we actually started off the first clip here with Go Wee Wee. But after that we have all Town Hall 8, Town Hall 9 replays of the La Loon, the Loonian, and the Dragaloon. So first attack, this is, uh, I, I use some of my mini accounts for these. These are all Town Hall 8 and 9. This is Sable. And... The the Go Wee Wee was a was one of the top atta attacks in Clash of Clans uh, maybe a year ago. Uh, I I don't remember dates that well. Lucky to remember my kids' birthdays. Hopefully they don't hear that. <laughs> anyway, the first thing you want to do is try to pull those clan castle troops out. If you can't pull them out, then at that point you're gonna have to hold on to some of those wizards and your and your uh, poison spells and put the poison spells over the clan castle troops when you, once you trigger them. And drop a nice group of wizards right there wherever they come out at because they may come out in different areas um, You want to start the attack the same way you want to start the attack off with the golems Remember golems don't do real high damage per second and they'll be stuck on a wall forever So you want to make sure you bring some wall breakers for those out for that outer wall and you want to time the, the wall breaker So the wizards which have a large area of splash damage or the mortars don't rain down on top of those wall breakers because if they do you might have wasted your whole attack because the other troops might move on and the golem might stay there and pound away at a wall. Um, after the golems are in and you get the wall breakers and you get the wall breakers to open up that outer layer, then you can add the witches. Uh, spawn the witches as close to the edge of the map as you can. That will give them time to spawn all the skeletons. Once the skeletons and all start flooding the base, then you can put the wizards in behind. I would always suggest holding on to four or five wizards, and that way you can put you can deploy them in key locations around the outside of the base. Um, then you're off to the races. Now, something to mention about the defense here. If you look at this base design, there is one, two, three, four different individual sections to this base. A four-section base is not a good base. You don't want to do this. This is a bad idea. You don't want a square inside a square inside a square. No matter how you lay out the defenses, it's never really a good idea. You can always build it better than that. Now, if you have a base that has several areas of open areas where the troops can, they don't have any walls, so they'll go here and go there because it's open, and then you have defenses that rain down on them behind the walls, that is a good base. So you may see bases that only have a few walls, but they have these open areas that the troops seem to favor. So those are trap bases. Now, this next, this next attack is a Town Hall 9 La Loon. It is one of the strongest attacks in Clash of Clans right now. This is a, this is a four Lava Hound uh, about 18 balloons and about 15 uh, minions. Now you'll notice that we started off with the king and the queen up in that uh, left hand corner taking out the archer queen. She is a priority. You have to take care of the archer queen. You have to consider her. There's two ways to take care of her. Either you, if she's up near the outside, take care of her with the heroes or you, you can take care of her with the lava hounds if she's in the center of the base. When farming, Avoid bases where she's dug in and, and you're not gonna be able to get to her because she will ruin your attack anyway If you don't if you don't have a way to get to her or manage her she'll ruin the attack Now the way you want to deploy your your troops with a Laloon is you want to send in two to four Lava Hounds at one time I like to send in two on one air defense and send a small group of balloons in behind them Put a rage spell or a haste spell over the balloons or right there in front of them then run into it um, that w you don't want to really don't want to put them over it because they'll just run right out of it. You want them to run into the spells. So, and then what you'll do is you'll watch where the lava hounds go. If they decide to go clockwise, you you will start deploying the rest of your balloons in a clockwise fashion around the base. Um, you'll see a lot of attacks start off with a this a giant line of balloons, and believe it or not, that does work in a lot of cases. But if you're just starting out and you're starting to practice. Try using the surgical deployment. Start off with two lava hounds, a group of five, or five to eight balloons behind it. Rage them up, and as they take that first air defense, and they start, and the lava hounds start going to the second air defense. Put another lava hound on the second air defense, and then put another lava hound on the third air defense, and kind of follow them around clockwise or counterclockwise. Uh, now, something I wanted to mention. This is a project that I've been personally working on for a long time. This is our, this is our clan's website, uh, the Damage Inc. Uh, website a lot of people don't realize that it's not really just for our clan It started off that way But then we made the guide section and the guide section is what has taken me literally a year Every time I think I get done they do an update and I have to change everything 
Um, we basically have every troop, every defensive structure, every, everything in the game, we have all the stats for it. We have uh, on every page, as far as in the, in the guide section itself, we also have Easy's Guide. And what that is, is that's my own personal take on how to use that troop, how, do you, how to upgrade that defense, how to, how to use it. Um, if you are new to the game, you, everyone needs to get information somewhere. The most popular place to go, and as a matter of fact, I was surprised that actually Clash sends you to a wikia or a wiki. And that is information that's recorded by the, the fans and, you know, the people update it. And what I found more, more times than not is that it is wrong. I realized that while I was making this guide, I'm trying to cross-reference all this information, and I was shocked at how many times I ran into information that was wrong. So we tried to pride ourselves on having good information. Check out the website. The, the description, uh, the web address was back there a little bit. Just hit rewind on your VCR, and you go back and, and you'll find the web address. It's, uh, in case you can, it's, it's www.damageinkcoc.com. You can get lost in that website for a long time. It's probably got 100 plus pages in it. Now, this next this next attack here is uh, this is the Town Hall 8. This is a little easy. Um, Town Hall 8 Lunian is a very strong attack. Now you have a lot of weapons in Town Hall 8. You have level 4 hogs. You have these level 5 balloons. And since the update and these balloons dropped that first uh, uh, bomb so fast, this is a, actually a much more viable attack than it used to be. Um, the Lunian attack, you have to be careful of the clan castle troops. You have to take in con into consideration they have clan castle troops in there a lot. And if you send the balloons in without taking care of their clan castle troops, and they have a dragon, for example, the dragon will follow your balloons around and kill them all. And, and, and look at you and wink at the end of the attack. So you don't want to do that. If you have any chance at all, send a balloon in by itself, let it cross over the trigger zone, and then see what's in there. Um, and if there's nothing in there, then go at it. So I would suggest bringing 25 minions if you're going to just do a Laloon. Uh, I'm sorry, if you're just going to do a, a, a Loonian. A Loonian is just balloons and minions. Um, in Town Hall 8, you can also add the dragons. And if, when, if you add dragons to that attack, you don't have to bring nearly as many minions. Um, something that people should know, and that, that I, I don't know why it's not more popular uh, maybe it is but it just wasn't in the circle I was in minions are a, uh, are a fantastic troop now they're squishy because one red balloon can take out 30 of them if they're close enough together so there is a there is a big da danger with these red balloons that, that that you know there's at least four of them on every uh, town hall 8 so four of them out there so you, you really want to be cautious and maybe send two or three minions in and see if it pulls out any balloons and if it happens if you get lucky and pull out three or four balloons at once well now you know you're clear and you can go in with the minions they do not trigger the black balloon so you don't have to worry about that but if the clan castle troops come out and it's an air troop you have nothing else to defend yourself except for those minions so even i would even suggest um using a ra using your rage with these with these attacks here on town hall 8 i bring three rage I bring a poison, that's what I make myself, and then I request a haste spell. And that haste spell, I usually put it on the, the balloons that I request. I request balloons every time too. Because max balloons are really strong, especially on a Town Hall 8. Um, now in Town Hall 9, we, we would always suggest using that surgical deployment. And you, you're dropping lava hounds, and you're dropping balloons behind it, and you're going in, in either clockwise or, or counterclockwise. And Town Hall 8 is a little different. They only have three air defenses. So if they have all three air defenses separated in a triangle, and they're kind of close to the edge, I, I would send in three groups of balloons and put the three spells right in front of, in other words, in between the balloons and the air defense, and let the balloons hit that haste or hit that rage spell and, and beef up and then they'll plow right through that air defense most of the time. Be mindful of a few things. Be mindful of the um, wizard towers and be mindful of the Teslas. Yeah, I know you can't see the Teslas, but if there's any areas that are kind of obvious where it could be a Tesla or a Tesla farm where there's three of them together, um, be mindful of that area and that's where you want to use your spells or you can use your hero. Now, I don't see a lot of people. Uh, I, I, I mean, I see a lot of people do it. I'm, I, you don't see a lot of the new players. 
use their king to distract troops uh, right before you put in those air troops. In other words, if there's a wall that has four archer towers on it, you can put your king down, all four archer towers will start shooting at the king, and then you can drop all the balloons on top of those archer towers, and they all have a free shot there at the archers. So, you can use your king, especially on the back side of the attack, to distract the troop, dis distract the defenses to help those balloons out. Now, with the Dragaloon, you, you're using the dragons to tank. Um, you're not using the dragons for cleanup as much as you'd use the, the minions for cleanup, but you're using the dragons to tank. So you want to put the dragons in first and either allow them some time to take out some of those key defenses like the wizard towers or if there's a group of two or three archer towers together. Um, give them some time to take those out before you drop the balloons in. Or wait until the air defense gets locked onto the dragon and then quickly disperse your balloons and then put a rage on them. So hopefully the dragon will live long enough for you to be able to put the balloons in and get the balloons heading towards those air defenses while it's stuck on the dragon. The best way for you to take care of these air defenses is to, is to take care of them while they're not shooting at the balloons because the balloons are, are so squishy that they only take a shot or two to go down. Now this next attack, I wanted to show this next attack because this is a common mistake that a lot of people make. You know, this is a trial and error type of game. It's funny, I've watched some of the older videos that I've made and I look back and I'm like, man, I did everything wrong as I'm telling people what to do. <laughs> so I, I'm constantly evolving how I think about doing things. Um, the way I do that is I watch everyone else. I, I don't even have to agree with what everyone else is saying, but I still watch what they do. I watch how they do it. I watch how they explain how to do things, and that gives me the perspective that I need. I'm trying it myself. I'm trying every different tactic and technique that I can think of, and then I'm watching other people that are having success, and they're recording it. So and that, that gives you that real good overall picture. Now, in this one right here, what they had done, now you see I just put that balloon in, that, that one balloon was to test to see if the clan castle had any troops in it. Nothing came out. So now we have three air defenses in the core of the base. A lot of people think that, okay, I'm going to protect my base from the air by putting three air defenses in the core. Um, if you notice, I sent two balloons in up top by themselves. What that was was trying to fish out any black, black bombs because those black bomb, air bombs are very powerful and they almost kill a dragon just by themselves. So I wanted the balloons to take those hits and not the dragons. There wasn't any, so... So now I put in four dragons, I spread them out to, to absorb as much of that damage as I can and then I'm going to put the balloons in behind the dragons and let the balloons kind of go to town without getting any damage on them until they hit the core of the base. Um, now once they're in the core, because the person on defense made that mistake of having all three of them together, it took no time at all for the balloons just to circle around the town hall real quick and all three of the air def defenses are gone. So, if you look in this particular base, you'll see how there's a square, and then there's a, four squares, one on each corner. That would probably be, probably be your best bet to where you would want to put the air defenses. You don't want it directly in the core. You want it to be to where they have to kind of spread themselves thin in order to take them all out. So, you know, if, there, if you had three air defenses on, on three of those four spots, they could put in three separate groups of, um, of balloons and then put a rage on top of each of the air defense areas and that is a way that they might be able to take them out but they could also make a mistake at that point and um, spread themselves so thin that they don't take the base so you want them to start um, taking chances to take out the air defenses you don't want them to have to send in a big group and guarantee that they get them because as soon as they get to the middle which is where they're all heading eventually uh, they're all right close to each other so try to avoid that mistake so end of the video Hope this uh, helps somebody. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of videos out there on Laloon. There's a lot of videos out there on balloons in general because they're such a strong troop. So we're trying to we're trying to cover some of the Town Hall eight and nine stuff because there's a lot of stuff out there on Town Hall nine and um, uh, ten and eleven. So try to help out the little guys a little a little more. Um, working on several videos at the same time because we are now work I'm working on this too easy um, road trip. Uh, we are in another clan called called uh, GB Elite and these guys are awesome we're trying to I believe it's gonna be next weekend that we have uh, we team up with them 
will be in their clan uh, doing a 50-50 war. Uh, it's gonna, I think it's going to be a random war, but we'll see how that goes. That's, I'm pretty excited about that. So, um, appreciate you watching till the end. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. We need 100 subs. To, and uh, once we get a hundred we'll, we'll have our own URL we'll change the name of the channel a little bit um, like the video if you liked it leave some comments for me um, we don't we don't get too many so I can still read every single one and I'll get back to as many people as I can some of the relationships I have out there with other players because they left comments on our YouTube channel so like the video sub to the channel um, leave a comment for me hope you enjoyed it Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.